guys, I'm Charles Neal. Uh, we're still in the middle of the, of the Bobby Neal's Boxes or Us saga. Uh, we've dovetailed up, I don't know, 13, 14 boxes. We had to adjust sizes to fit woods, and we've been doing all of that. But anyway, we're about ready to glue these things up, but th this is short enough that I think we can try to show you on YouTube a little bit about how we put a lock in. Now the lock that we're using is just, it's got a, you've got the lock body, then you've got your keeper that goes up the top of the, top, the top of the box. And to place this thing where we want it, we can do a whole lot of hard calculations, but the way I do it is I simply find a center line, then you notice you've got your little pin here, that's what your key actually sets on. So then, now I'm this the outside of the box, it's the face. So I lay it up here, tap it with the mallet. That shows me how far down. Now, when I say I lay it up here, one of the things I want to do is I want to keep this keeper, I don't want it perfectly flush. I want to hold it up just about 30 seconds or so because I don't want that box top to have to go super tight down in there. And the reason for that is if I get any deviation in this thing whatsoever, then, you know, you have an issue with your lock on. But anyway, that's what we got. And we've got it marked. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 5 16th drill bit. And all I'm going to do is... Oops. Now all I'm going to do is drill, drill it out. Get the glasses focused here. center where I want by sighting through it and lining it up with my center line. Then I'm going to mark the outer edges of where my lock's going to need to be mortised. And you know, they're not always always the same, so you know, always make sure you do your lock. Okay. Now, I'm going to measure my center. That's three quarters of this. This, is, this piece is an inch and a half. So I'm going to go from my center line again. I'm going to measure over three quarters of an inch. But I actually want to be just a little heavier. I don't want to just lock. I don't want to have to super sandwich it in there. I don't want it sitting that tight. So I'm going to go just a hair to the outside line, just a hair to the outside line, and mark it right now. i got to get my depth. Okay. So this area in here is what i got to mortise out body of the lock. So, and what I've done, all I do is take my router bit and I set it up. There's actually two, two cuts here. This cut, I'll set the router bit up and I'm just simply going to adjust my bit until I'm at the top. Even though this lock is going to be sitting on top of this, the thickness right here it's going to give me a, just a little clearance under here so I'm not sandwiched in real tight. There we go. All right. With that done, I'm going to simply route that out. But before I do, I'm actually just going to make sure I can see that line. Here. Now, you know the old timers, they would have kept cutting down and you'll, you'll see on old antique furniture the saw mark carrying all the way down and they would have done they would have kept saw they would have saw the chisel saw the chisel until they got this saw and chisel out I'm going to tell you again I've done that enough I'm going to use the router on that okay now I'm just going to start and clean that out
it's done. Make sure I'm still in the center. Okay, now, I got a mortise for the top of the lock. So I'm going to make sure that my little corner here is really tight. And I'm just going to give me a depth of the top. Now, because of the rotation of the bit, the bit, the way it's going to rotate, it's going to try to chip this. So all I'm going to do is take a little back saw and just saw it. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Charles Neal. I'll catch you later.